when you see me in this video, what's your first reaction? I know mine, and that's the lighting is off. My face has more shadows on it than usual. He's not presenting at his best. That's what I see. I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and I coach people and organizations. You know, I try and help people be bold, take decisive action, be more effective. And when you go on interviews, when you meet with people, are you really presenting yourself at your best? After all, we all know that appearance matters. And yet, as I record this, I'm intentionally going for the, you can't really see my eyes all that well, too many shadows in there, there's glare off my glasses, shadows on my face, shirt seems to be okay, a little casual, but fundamentally, it's not my perfect look. When you go into a meeting, when you're on camera, when you're meeting someone for the first, second, or fifth time, how do you present yourself? Now, if you're going on a job interview and you're not at your best, what's the impact when you walk out, uh, walk in to meet with someone? Their first reaction is, if you're fortunate, neutral. They don't have a mental comment to share with themselves about how poorly you appear. Now, what does poor appearance look like? Now, I mentioned a couple of things in terms of lighting, but that can involve your weight. That can involve what you wear and how worn it appears. What century it's from in some cases. You know, it can be that extreme. And you need to present yourself in all circumstances as, quote unquote, world class. Best of breed. Is your hairstyle uh, dated to say the least. Now, I have intentionally a shaved head, and if you're bald or balding, I'm not encouraging you to do that. I know my dad used to have what we used to joke about as being the three hairs on top of his head, but he always took care of them to make sure that they weren't out of control. What do you do in order to create a positive appearance for yourself? What do you do to look great knowing that appearance matters or have you gotten to the point where you've gotten lazy about how you present yourself we all make snap decisions about people that we meet and you are no different people are judging you in professional and personal situations how do you want to be seen sloppy lazy casual Casual may not necessarily be bad in certain circumstances, but how do you want to be seen knowing that appearance matters professionally? When you're on an interview, I'm not suggesting that you wear a suit necessarily if you're a guy or a woman, but look great, feel confident, Present yourself in a way that you know you feel good. Because part of what firms assess for is competence, self-confidence, character, chemistry, maybe a little bit of charisma, all of which translate into a cohesive package where they trust you. Your self-confidence is, is a big part of this. Hence, how you physically present yourself, how you appear goes a long way toward how they see you. I'm Jeff Altman. I hope you found this helpful. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. I've got thousands of articles. I've got uh, videos, podcasts about job search, hiring, being more effective at work, lots of different information that's designed to help you in your career. Also want to say that you know, if you'd like me to coach you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And once we're connected, message me that you're interested in scheduling a free discovery call. Hope you have a great day and take care.